Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. At Barnacle Bill's Seafood Restaurant in Tallahassee, shipping costs are up and fewer hungry patrons are coming through the doors. And starting Wednesday, the state is forcing owner Jeff Stilwell to give much of his staff a pay raise. People make, you know, what they're worth. Nobody pays somebody that, that is valuable to a minimum wage. Florida's minimum wage is increasing from $7.25 an hour to $7.31. Waiters will see their hourly wages increase to $4.29 an hour. Jeff has 15 waiters and says they already make good tip money. Raising their pay will leave Jeff with less money for the rest of his staff. A good server will make plenty of money. A good cook can only make as much money as you can afford to pay him. Only about 190,000 Floridians make minimum wage. But for them, the increase will mean an extra $128 a year. Economists with the Florida Center for Fiscal and Economic Policy say the increase isn't much, but it will help some. It might be the difference between being able to take a child to uh, the doctor or being able to get a medication for a child. The increase comes from a constitutional amendment that ties minimum wage to inflation. The state tried to pass a smaller increase, but a Florida judge ruled it unconstitutional. Jack Governor Rick Scott fears future increases will hurt Florida's job market. If that continues to go up uh, and other states have lower minimum wages, it'll impact our, uh, our ability to create jobs. Florida's minimum wage will increase with inflation, but it won't go down with deflation. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.